what I've wanted to do for a very, 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 very long time. And it is my baby must-haves. Now, before I get into it, I just want to like um, let you guys know that I'm not a professional, but what I can say about my, myself is that um, I've raised two kids um, with everything that I'm going to be showing you on this video, and it's worked for me. It works differently for everybody so from this video like pick what you can from this video and add it add it add to yours like whatever you get from this video and it doesn't work for your child then please feel free to change to change until you find the right product for your child all I can say is that um, with my second child Atara I have tried a lot a lot a lot of products which aren't here but i'll talk about them because she has like the most sensitive skin and um, i needed to be careful with her so before i start talking a lot let's just jump right into this video so when i say my baby must have these are things that i cannot live without if i don't have them i am stressing and i need to like get them asap so the first thing it's the diapers diapers you can choose whichever brand will work for your child just get diapers make sure you have a ton of diapers because babies poop a lot and pee a lot so we'll get into all that in another different video but for now make sure you have enough diapers and find the right size and when i say size each diaper you'll notice it's been written like the age like 15 to kind of like this here so that's what I'm talking about. Like, you know your baby weight when you go for your visits in the hospital, which is also another, another video that we're going to get into. But for the size, you need to like, um, diapers with the right weight he or she has. So the first thing are the diapers. Then the next thing, it's the, um, what do you call them? The wipes. So for me, I use this. They've been working so good for me in the last three years with both my children. Now, I want to start with the most, most, most important things. And for me, I feel like this is one of the most important things. This is a thermometer. Guys, Kuana thermometer. Not necessarily this one. Let me show you how this one looks like. So I, bought, I got this at... I think it was the Menti house and it was just 1500 so this is like an investment that you need to have with your babies because babies get affected by everything and you need to know when they are like burning up though so please have this if not this you see this grooming set this grooming set comes with a, like a small thermometer that one works best and for me I remember with my first child I didn't have this one so the best Place nilikuwa kwa neke thermometer is apa kwa mkono. Like kaeke tu apa kwa mkono. Or the ear would work also. Like apa kwa maskio tu uneyeka hapo ndani. Kidogo tu just usiingize ndani because remember we are working with kids, not animals. So ingiza tu pole pole like apa tu inje just a little bit and it will measure the temperature. So when it already has like the approximate temperature, it afanya ti 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 ti. So then you know the thermometer is ready for you to start reading. So this is the thermometer. I love this one. And then a bottle. Now listen, this is where everybody gets it wrong. Even if you're doing exclusive breastfeeding, you need to have a bottle because anything can happen. Let me tell you a short story. 
with Arabella, I never taught Arabella how to suck on a bottle. Like she could never suck on a on a like on a feeding bottle. And I remember this one time I was so sick, I had to go to the hospital and she couldn't come with me. And it was hectic. My help, the dad, what I look on Ashida because she was so used to my nipples to the point that she didn't like like this bottle at all and i thought it was the bottle so i bought a shit ton of bottles i got this one i got the mom easy i got weird other brands oh my god i got like seven different brands of bottles only for them never to be used unona so like train them when they are small sometimes you can get called into work if you if you you if you commit to your work uh, so make sure you have this with you. It's very important and please teach them. Alternatively, atakama si mazini maziwa ya boobs, watakunyo ma formula milk or whichever you choose to do, they need to drink water. So this is really nice and I love this thing here. I like it's so good. It's so soft and so good. So please have a bottle with you. And then, for a newborn. I know this weird looking thing with pipes and all that. This is a pump. It's an electric pump. You see? So, like it comes with its own special bottles. So you just plug them up. And this is where the sanction happens. So I used to love this thing. Actually, here it is. I used to love these things so much. Like, it, it could simplify everything. I just plug it in, hold my bottles, and then continue watching the movie I was watching or continue playing with my kid or continue doing whatever I was doing. Like, But anyway, at the end of the day, you work with what your pocket can. So, after this, there's this one too. And it's this one it's manual and it it goes for around fifteen hundred or two thousand and um it's it also works good because I remember this one I started using a manual before I realized like it wasn't sucking all the milk because so I needed something that would like dry me completely because Arabella used to breastfeed. So it used to be very painful, you see, because, let me just like a short story, you see, all that milk, you see, here are the milk ducts, if I'm not wrong. So when your boob in a jar, this, you feel so much pain under your armpits, literally. And for some, waneza finya ivi, maziwe itoke kwa makwapa. Yeah, I know. The human body is so, like, complicated. But yes, so sometimes, actually not sometimes, whenever your boob swells up, this is the part that in a fura. Okay? In a fura, and then sometimes when you press it, in a toka maziwa. You see? And then there is a downside to that. You can actually get something called mastitis. And it's terrible. It's very terrible. I will talk about mastitis in a different video, but for now, make sure if your child has breastfed well, no koshua ame shiba vizuri. Make sure you're pumping all that milk out. And again, not everybody can uh, afford a pump. You see, and actually, kwa the traditional way, which my mother-in-law used to do to me, uh, she take a hot kitamba, like boiling water, like this, and arusha kitamba. And then her rings, you're like just getting your guys. I'm telling you, she'd slap me with bit here on my boobs. Like the kitamba was hot. Can you imagine my me talking my boy? And then she goes like pa. But that used to be so soothing. And then she explained to me that that's how during their times so because they didn't have the luxury to have all these things that we have right now. And I imagine I really appreciated her for that. Sana sana because she made sure I was okay. So you can do that actually. Take hot water, not necessarily extremely boiling water, just water and you're gonna enough heat to like calm down your nerves. So what you do, chukwa kitamba mzito, rusha kwa maji, rinse kidogo too, 
just kidogo to squeeze a little bit of the water to come out just a little bit and then chukua kitamba uweke hapa and make sure si ati tu unaekelea ati hivi una get unafinya finya kidogo kidogo and then after like a couple of five presses if the water is at the right temperature maziwa itaanza kutoka peke yake you'll actually feel that kind of nice feeling you feel when your milk kicks in you get and then the milk will start oozing out peke yake pole 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 and that's because let me tell you when that milk imekwamilia huku what it hurts it hurts so bad like so 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 bad unaona so maybe I'd advise you if you cannot get this electric pump neither can you get the um what do we call it the manual pump go for the hot water kitamba method it works so good now just in case pia like you feel like your boob may swell and you probably don't have access to your pump both of them or the majimoto there is not the most traditional way squeeze your boob now you squeeze to upper squeeze from here like bring that thing down like this finger do this on a finger like make sure you start from there under the armpit on a finger on a finger in a toka on a toka on a toka it hurts but it leaves you feeling so good cuz ebu imagine uko job then there's something like that it may happen and then maybe ni sawa pump yako kwa meza juu imagine unaanza kutoa wapi majimoto kwa ofisi na kitamba you see you just go to the washrooms start from here at under the armpits finya coming down like this finya coming down like this finya coming down like, like this that is the trick you can do for both of them but actually i realized when these boobs in a swell it's usually one boob that swells a lot yes of course the other one is going to swell but um naturally there's always one boob with excess milk i don't know where it comes from but it's a good thing and a curse at the same time oh and one thing um this have mixed all ages so it's not specifically for the newborn una get cuz most of the newborn things my kids were using till cuz inaendelea to kwenda to 6 months then i exchange a couple of times so that's what you are getting into after the pump good there's also something else it's called the storage bags the breast storage bag he's a virtual one you can buy them disposable one i found like the disposable one were best or i don't know if you can if you don't want that to keep on buying killer sir then do you you see at the end of the day as long as you have a storage bag that's all that matters and sometimes if you don't have ata pesa kununua get to bottles where when you kisha pump unaeka hiyo maziwa and you put them in the fridge and one thing when you breast when you pump your milk eh kabla uweke kwa fridge make sure you label them and you label labeling them according to the date and you may pump unaona so if a pump leo ni take a 6th of march unaona at a certain time make sure you also indicate the time sawa so do this all the time that you pump and store your milk and then zenye ziko hapo already zitoe hizo zenye umepump size yake nyuma so that the ones that were there initially they can come up amele and breast milk by the way can stay in the freezer for a very 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 long time and by the way one tip usiyeke hapa kuchini kwa fridge put them in the freezer okay good so we are done with that next you remember you guys if you if you saw that video yeah i'm what's in my backpack you'll notice i told you something about this olive oil and it's what i'm getting into it right now so besides kupaka olive oil and all that i massage my babies using olive oil unko unajua mtoto mdogo huwa anamassage hiyo yeah they need to be massaged or else their bones that were too weird they'd feel pain fat fanyes or reflexes and i'll show you how to massage a newborn baby in a different video okay but make sure you guys are massaging your kids you need to massage your babies that goes without saying so please massage those little humans they need the massage cuz ebu you guys imagine the whole day you've just been sleeping turning and tossing head on the bed like this ama on your side then two hands like this 
you see you need to massage these people like rejuvenate their body their bones and actually their skin too okay next thing is this powder powder if you like and guys correct me where i'm wrong i like i said and when i started um this video these are the things that worked for me you see they may or may not work for somebody else so please please let me know in the comments comment below and actually the most important thing share this video okay share this video to other people that you think that they need to hear all this especially this young mom let them know that we are thinking about them let them know that they made no mistake okay anyway so powder and this one is for sasenye amechomeka una get kwa sababu kids when they poop wao wanachomeka bamba hmm? so they need something okay for me nilikuwa naweka powder and then it used to dry that please if not the powder then there's the baby cream okay the one the one i showed you in my previous video what's in my baby's bag you see make sure you watch that video because everything i listed on that channel and actually guys i helped you so much by actually linking a checklist with everything that you need to pack so please 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 make sure you download that checklist and stay 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 with it because you really need it it has everything 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 and everything that's on that checklist plus the ones i'm talking about on this video just combine and there you have like you have yourself like the best newborn the best experience as in who doesn't want who doesn't want that in their life you see everyone wants a smooth pregnancy everyone wants a smooth first three months of the child and that's what i'm trying to help you guys with so please download that checklist if you know you're pregnant and have no clue of what you want to pack in your bag anyway that's the powder then my favorite thing is this it's called bennett now i'll i'll put the pp here so yes that's it this and um, saline nose spray i don't like seeing my child trying to survive like because the nose is clogged it's like blocked she can't breathe so what i do is that i actually use this on them saline nose spray bennett saline nose spray na kuna mtu tudogo tunazango i think 100 bob and then there is this one and probably more but guys if i'm being honest those two dogs they don't work at all on my children i've tried nimeenda hosini kapewa but at the end of the day even if they give me i still resort to mine because this is what i love so what you do you open then put your fingers here and then put this thing in your child's nose like that and then you spray It's like a yes, exactly like that. If you guys can see what I'm trying to do, I don't know if it's gonna be possible. Yes, exactly. So that's what it does. Like do this like four or five times in a day, depending on how blocked their nose is. And by the end of the day, my point mefungana. So good. Alternatively, like take your child. If it's this nose that's blocked, funga hingi navy, and then. Have I done that with both my kids? Yeah, sure, I have. As much as it made me feel like puking, I really, really, really helped my child and she was better after that. Alternatively, th this method, try it and let us know down below the comments. Now, the other thing is mafuta. So for me, if your child has sensitive skin, for me, I use this one on them, both of them. Even Bella, who is three, she still uses this Johnson. It's so good and it's not perfumed at all. It's not perfumed. So it's very, 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 very good. Yes. Now, let me tell you. <laughs> you see, this grooming set, it comes with everything. You see, it comes with a comb nail cutter 
the momenter mm, i think tweezers if, if i'm not wrong i don't know if those are supposed to be called tweezers or whatever but uto to try kuru maivi and then it comes with the hiki to your clean tongue which i'm going to talk about it and yeah those are the few things that i remember so for me i bought that grooming set then i didn't like everything that was in there so i sourced some things i can't remember in the company gani but they have nice product i have this comb and i have this comb and i have their nail cutter which is so adorable and so good look at this mood like so smooth you you get so you need this brush not necessarily he because in the grooming kit hakoka brush hapa it worked better than this actually you get and guys you need to use that brush i jack up to decorate you need to use it because it's actually something called a cradle cap papa kwa watoto it's that to in accumulate and it can inafanyanga mtoto anakaa vibaya kichwa nywele haimei sasa your baby looks ugly nimesema tu she looks kind of weird cuz people are like hiyo ni uchafu gani kwa kwa kichwa ya mtoto of course as a mom or as a parent you don't want to get questions like that unaona so make sure you wash your cradle baby's cradle cap nacha nikwambie yesterday I was somewhere and these people were I, I wanted to see this child or my friend needed me to see that baby because oh he's such an adorable little baby you get and then like how watu wa kutoka then i was like it's okay maybe wamela wamelala and i'll see them later or another day and then she tells me that mtoto wako na kitu hapa kwa kichwa and i was like yeah maybe i should talk to them about that and guys we tried calling them wakuja at least we see how we can help them or i see how i can help them and maybe advise them cuz she is a new mom how akukuja and i was so frustrated because i felt like maybe they are feeling embarrassed and these aren't things for to like feel embarrassed about at all you're not supposed to like feel embarrassed about these things the only thing that you're supposed to be doing is accept help Accepting help doesn't mean you're stupid. Accepting help doesn't mean that you're a terrible mom. Accepting help doesn't mean that you're a terrible dad. You see, accepting help is actually showing vulnerability and it actually shows that you're open to people and you're open to learning. Unaona? We can't learn unless we open up. We can't learn unless you ask something. You see that's the only way we learn curiosity you see and i really felt bad cuz all of a sudden the baby is so cute so cute unaona and then i don't understand why you need to hide the kid inside the house unaona mtu atenje apigwe na jua you see guys if i'm being honest with you this is the very reason why i decided to start this channel so that i can help so many people you see some people are shy naturally or they just not open to the um to the idea of seeking help outside you see and it's okay we don't blame you but you see you can actually watch this video in your house nobody needs to know like there is something you are going through no no and then the tips and tricks i'm going to be giving you on this channel then you're going to be applying with your babies and then that's good i feel like with that you feel better about yourself and better about your parenting ways because nobody is judging so understood capish some things are not the same as they were a year ago but all be okay i move on each and every day the past is where it stays way back a year ago